I'm going to first tell you about the ultrasound machine. Okay. Now, ultrasound machines are like cars. Firstly, you know, each each model is each manufacturer. They have different uh, knobs, different ways by which they keep their knobs, the transducers, and everything. But the basics are still the same. So, firstly, you need to know where the on-off button is. So, in this particular machine, this is where the on-off button is, and Currently, this machine is actually on sleep mode, so you press this and you get it working. The next thing is, you have a range of transducers. So you have, in this particular machine, you have a cardiac transducer, which is called a phased array probe. You have a curvilinear probe and you have a linear probe. So you go to start and end, and then you'll have to, um, uh, in this particular, you'll have to say new patient, put in the details, and you'll need to know how those things are configured in your particular machine. Okay, here I'm going to generate what is called a temporary ID. Then it'll ask you, in this particular machine, it's asking me for the transducer. And these are soft keys. All three transducers are attached. Therefore, I can choose it on the software using soft keys about which transducer. When do you choose different types of transducers? This is, it. what you can see is it has a very, very small footprint compared to these two. Therefore, in areas which are small, and have limited access, you use this. So example is the intercostal space for the heart. So this is why the car, this is a car, this is what a cardiologist would use for doing an echocardiogram. On the other hand, this one gives you a nice wide field of view with a good deep depth. And this is what typically an abdominal sonographer will use for doing an abdominal scan. So this is good for deep structures um, and where you need a wide field of view. Now, this last transducer is a linear probe, and the linear transducer is excellent for short distances, for short depths. The moment something goes very deep, more than uh, about five, six centimeters, the field of vision narrows significantly, the width narrows, and you can't really see very well. But for superficial structures, something about, uh, about three or four centimeters deep, this is excellent. So that's, that's its value. So when you're doing it in kids, you can get away with doing this you know, completely with a linear probe. But, and in an obese patient, you'll need the curvy linear probe. And for heart scans, you might have to do this. Okay, take this. Now, so in this instance, if I want to do a DVT scan, I want a, a DVT scan is of veins and they are superficial structures. This is excellent for that. Okay, so the linear probe is excellent for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose transducer and here is linear and under that there are various presets that the manufacturer will configure for you and in this instance I'm going to I'm going to say Venus Doppler okay that's my and then I save and exit and now it will give me the linear probe with Venus settings okay next how do I once I keep the probe on the patient I'll, I'll start getting some images and those images I'll have to ma uh, manipulate some of the technical things. From the physics talk, you would have seen that the most important technical aspects about any image are the gain settings. So you'll have to know, for every ultrasound machine, you need to know where the gain button is. In this instance, the gain is here. You turn it up and down. Then you have the depth settings. So you increase the depth or you decrease the depth. Oh, sorry, I was doing the opposite. And then you have something called color Doppler. So you have, you put color and then you can manipulate the box to the vessel and see whether there is flow, vascular flow in that particular vessel. You have pulse wave Doppler where you take the cursor and you put, you have a small sample gate between those two lines and you can measure the flow velocity in that particular sample gate. Another thing with the gain is you have something called time gain compensation here. The time gain compensation is a selective gain from three different, from a number of different depths. So here you have three different depths. That's superficial, that's mid, and that's the deep end, and that's the deep. What you do is if you want to turn up the gain superficially, then you can take it all the way to the right and you can see that the top end is bright. Mid, that's bright as well and that's deep. When you want to do measurements, you have in this particular machine you have something called calc. You can go keep the caliper 
and it's going to tell you what the distance is between the two. When you want to store an image, that's the next thing. Di different machines have different configurations. If you press acquire on this machine, it scans prospectively. So from the time you press acquire to the time for about the pre-configured time interval, it will acquire prospectively to acquire an image. In this, on the other hand, it does it retrospectively. So you press Im when you press image store, it would have already stored in its memory a number of loops and you can actually go back in time and you can decide which one is good. So you'll have to just know your machine and find out what it is. But in general, the basic things are 2D, the, the, the gain settings, the, the uh, choosing the transducer, the gain settings, the mode, which is 2D, color Doppler, pulse wave Doppler and so on. And once you know where they are, then it's like driving a car. That's about it. One thing that really irks me is care of the machine. Okay, if you notice here, this is how the previous person has left this machine in a mess. And you run over this cord and it can get damaged. Remember that these machines are all extremely expensive, so please make sure that when you're doing them, when you you'll have to tidy up. If you're looking after a thousand dollar smartphone, you might as well look after a very expensive piece of equipment which is used by everybody. Okay, so make sure that you hang everything in the appropriate cords and there is nothing loose.